Okay, if you're a regular to this channel, you know that I'm not a big XC head. I try to stay away from the spandex and the short travel bikes. I only really like climbing if there's a really nice, fun downhill following after it. Although, however, when I saw this thumbnail come across my YouTube homepage, I had to click on it. For those like me who aren't acquainted with what I am now acquainted with, let me acquaint you with what I am now acquainted with. This is the first time UCI Cross Country has come to Kranz, Montana, Switzerland, and the course designers decided to make an absolute statement piece. The reason this course is so entertaining to me isn't because it's so gnarly. If this trail was at my local trail system and I was on my enduro bike, I would be genuinely stoked to ride it. And I'm not kidding about that. The thing that makes this so entertaining is that people have to ride this on cross country bikes. <laughs> It looks wrong and terrifying in the best way possible. It feels like it's turning this posh aristocratic race platform into a stunt show and I am all for it. Listen to the terror in this man's voice as he tries to explain that he has this, even though you can tell he doesn't really know if this is a good idea. Uh, ooh. interesting, I guess. It's pretty, pretty bland, but um, for a word, but it's interesting. I think we haven't had something like this, so it's like... Fit your style, do you think? Uh, no. Don't get me wrong, these riders are extremely capable of riding this cross-country course. Cross-country bikes have come a long way, even in the last five years, and how aggressive they are. And honestly, most of the crashes during the race came because of the absolute monsoon that turned the course into a slip and slide. Legs turned on, he's one of the cleverest. Whoa, Whoa, Pitcock. There's Tom Pitcock goes down. Some big consequences if you make it wrong as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And yes, there are some changes that could be made to some of the features to make them safer. For instance, removing these vertical ridge rocks in the landing of this drop that only exists for, I don't know, to break femurs. So you know that. I think I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> This course has to be praised for one very specific reason. It got me to watch cross country highlights. And while that doesn't seem like a big thing, let me put it this way. This course, because of the way it was designed, because of how gnarly it was, got people like me, who for the most part only watch free ride, slope style, or downhill highlights, to watch a cross country race. And that's not a small thing. Now, in conclusion, am I gonna start watching now all of the stops and start following the series? Eh, probably not. Uh, I just don't feel super comfortable with podiums that look like this. Just got a lot of spandex going on. Yeah, it's kind of... Yeah, it's enough. Okay. Um, well, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a like and a comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.